So what has this pandemic been like for you, both as an individual and as a CEO? Nazali, frankly speaking, um, it's been a great teacher for all of us. I've gone through different emotions as an individual and as an entrepreneur. In the beginning, when the pandemic struck, the focus was on business continuity. Especially for us in India, around evening 8 o'clock, there was an announcement, whole country going to lockdown in four hours. No transportation, nothing, everything is closed. So the whole focus was to ensure that customer services are up and running. There is no disruption. So that was the first, I would say, focus. And uh, today, if I have to look back, I would say my team did a wonderful job. In very short span of time, we put everything in place. Uh, same time, we had to protect ourselves. We had to really put on stress tests our uh, delivery engagement models. Uh, we had to protect ourselves from getting infected. It was an act of fine balancing between uh, customer requirements, meeting customer requirements, and looking at the aspects of employee welfare. So personally speaking, um, um, I have learned a lot and uh, it has made me a better, better person and a professional. Uh, secondly, when this pandemic struck, our priority was to ensure and secure continuous stream of revenues. So we wanted to quickly look at the engagement models because if you talk about typical technology sector, the engagement models uh, are uh, mixed, hybrid, on-site, offshore, and some engagement models are purely on-site. So we had to shift everything to offshore because there is no travel, nothing is happening. And uh, same time, we wanted to make sure that uh, there is no disruption in customer uh, service levels and so on and so forth. And this was a good opportunity for us to really test the relationship strength. How strategic is your relationship with your customers, uh, which is built on mutual trust and respect. And I'm very happy to say that uh, uh, all our customers, we could basically uh, support them, we could uh, engage them successfully, we could uh, deliver uh, what was promised d during this tough pandemic times. At the same time, uh, you know, it has really given us an opportunity to, to, to look at uh, the areas of improvement within the organization. On the personal front, I myself uh, got infected with COVID sometime uh, early September and I was in isolation for more than two weeks. Uh, and this gave me an uh, opportunity to really introspect. Uh, frankly speaking, yes, uh, like anyone, um, I also had my own share of lows, sometimes you feel uh, you know, really low. Uh, but I was uh, being a strong believer, I was always quite optimistic uh, that inshallah tomorrow uh, uh, the brighter side will come. And there was always an a, a urge uh, to catch up with the, with, the, with the lost time. So in a nutshell, uh, this pandemic uh, has given us loads and loads of insights and uh, ultimately left me with a uh, a better person inside me. Definitely. Being in the tech industry, what do you think is the biggest challenge to it? And do you think what is being done is enough? Well, uh, as I said a while ago, uh, I think uh, the first challenge immediately for the tech industry was to ensure business continuity. The customer services are not affected and things like that. I think the industry as a whole have have, have come out with flying colors uh, as far as this aspect is concerned. Um, uh, secondly, as I said, yes, we all of us have to switch to a new engagement model, which is a completely offshore remote delivery model, which was something new because all this while uh, technology companies, uh, their delivery model was always either hybrid or pure on site. So all of a sudden, moving to a pure offshore delivery model uh, was, was a bit of a challenge, uh, but quickly technology companies uh, uh, could adopt to it uh, in this social distancing times. 
employees could work from home, collaborate effectively, efficiently with other team members and things like that. So I guess uh, 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 this is going to be new normal. Going forward, more and more delivery engagements uh, will be handled uh, from offshore. And this has an advantage, brighter side of it, from cost perspective, which can be passed on to our customers. Because when you talk about a pure play offshore delivery, then the cost also goes low and customers will have uh, that advantage. Uh, yes, I think uh, 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 governments are doing a lot uh, in this time. If I have to talk about India, uh, uh, already the government has come out with uh, labor laws amendments which will allow uh, for employees to work from uh, home and so on and so forth. Uh, um, uh, most many countries have basically uh, uh, rolled out various uh, bailout packages to help uh, the tech industries uh, to stay afloat. Uh, uh, one uh, other important challenge which is uh, still persisting I would say is, uh, is though uh, I said many times uh, in the past that uh, there is a digital wave, every business house want to uh, latch on to this digital wave, they are looking at digital initiatives, they are trying to talk to various vendors, they are asking for uh, budgetary proposals, they are evaluating so many proposals, so many solutions. But the fact of the matter is the industry, uh, most of the business houses are acting very cautiously because uh, it is some uncertain times. They want to basically hold on to the cash reserves, how much they can spend. So the decision which should happen in Q3 is getting pushed to Q1 next year, mm -hmm. which should have happened in Q4 is going to Q2 next year. So these are some of the things which definitely, I guess, uh, uh, we, we are seeing today. Uh, yeah. So how is JMR adapting to the challenges and remaining resilient as a business? We spoke about uh, the various challenges uh, which emerged uh, during this pandemic. For us, uh, one, of the, one of the important thing to address was to secure uh, the existing revenue streams for which it was very important to adopt to a new delivery model which is purely offshore and um, I could say this with a lot of uh, satisfaction that uh, we could manage that uh, very smoothly. Uh, uh, if you look at the knowledge industry, by large, uh, it's the people in knowledge industry which matters. And the most important asset today are your people. So it was uh, very important for us to ensure that during this uh, tough times, you have to first focus on uh, cost optimization and things like that. But at the same time, you have to take care of your uh, employee morale. These employees, for us in JMR, they are our family. They are part of the bigger, larger family. So we had to look at various aspects in terms of their mental, physical health. We wanted to make sure that their morale is up. Uh, um, so if you ask me, uh, nutshell, uh, we, we basically uh, we're focusing, are focusing not only on the financial uh, uh, aspects of the business, but we're focusing on the non-financial aspects of the business also and trying to ring fence it from any adverse effects. We're trying to focus more on the existing customers and see how best we can uh, generate uh, additional revenue streams, recurrent revenue streams, incremental revenue streams, and same time, um, uh, we have been quite successful in, in, in securing some large transformation projects during this uh, pandemic time. Uh, so for us, Alhamdulillah, so far, things are really doing good. While there are already measures being taken, how is JMR helping to fight the crisis? So frankly speaking, uh, Natali, this pandemic uh, is a humbling experience for all of us. So, the, the simplest thing which we would do and I, I would personally advise is to basically uh, listen to health advisories, believe in science and do whatever you can do to help your fellow citizens and society by large and at JMR we have been doing this and we will continue to do that. What do you think would be the long-term impact of this crisis on companies like yours and what do you hope to happen? Well, a uh, couple of pointers here to put forward. One of the uh, 
as i said long term impacts is going to be the working approach the work approach itself it is going to be work from home more work from home is going to be a new normal especially if you ask me uh, you know as an organization our delivery development centers happens to be in india and even now uh, we we work from basically home so all of us so this is going to basically continue a lot of companies have realized that it has a lot of benefits as well uh, financial benefits uh, social emotional benefits and so on and so forth so this is going to stay and continue uh, that's what um, my strong belief is um, the second as- aspect is as i said uh, this shift in the engagement delivery engagement model itself uh, we'll have more and more uh, offshore engagements we'll see uh, and as i said uh, there is a brighter side to it technology transformation projects will cost less because of uh, the engagement model itself and this is going to be a win win proposition for uh, for us for our customers um third important uh, change as i said is the digital wave which is happening you can't uh, be left behind every single business house they have to embark on this journey mm-hmm. they have to move digital there is no other option so you will see more and more digital initiatives happening uh, around us and when i say digital initiatives so those players who are already ready who are ready with the right offerings and things like that will have an advantage and those who are not ready it is time for them to think and prepare themselves quick and fast so that they can do this catch up game uh, and as i said in the beginning these digital initiatives will bring a plethora of opportunities in the technology space uh, infra security and so on and so forth so uh, in high end side uh, if i have to say um, uh, for technology companies there is there is a, there is a brighter future moving ahead from here uh, uh, there is a, a much bigger appreciation for cloud now uh cloud infrastructure adoption is picking up uh, rapid uh, pace so this is also an area which uh, will pick up momentum as we move so i am uh, personally caught buoyant and optimistic uh, from here on as far as uh, the future of jmr is concerned <laughs>